YouTube, this is Martin from Team Nightmare, and we're here with Manuel Alejandro from Team Nightmare, and he just top forward the ARG in Las Vegas, and he played Solomon Greats with uh, his own little text that he played, uh, but yeah, let's just uh, go straight to the point, and let's see his deck list. Alright, so Solomon Great, Gazelle, part of the deck, um, it gets your, all your plays started, uh, Spinny, Great Extender. Uh, helps you get to your rank three, um, and boost five hundred. Sometimes you need it because the guys are small. Foxy, uh, really good. Uh, you can use its effect if you have something else uh, to go with it, or you can just link away and then discard a Salmon Great card like uh, Spinny to special summon it back. If you uh, did the links and you have your field spell face up, doesn't have to destroy, so it's uh, pretty good. It's another rank three. Uh, Jaguar helps you extend plays and in my version I like to synchro so um, it's really good to like end on Jaguar um, if you have the, the wheel because I do play them um, so it helps you with synchro plays and it helps you just get all your Sunlight Wolf going uh, really good um, I didn't play uh, the other one Falco I just didn't think it was necessary because I was trying to end the game real fast uh, Debug uh, gets your play started uh, a lot of times this is the one that you want to hit like if you play ogre and stuff like that because uh, a lot of times they don't have an extender and so they can't go into the, the little kitty the links and um, so yeah it's it's pretty good but I think you have to play it you can still combo off with just one card so uh, I really like it uh, I play a two tracker two wheels uh, mainly because it, almost everything's a rank uh, level three, and it helps you get into your rank three a lot quicker. Um, like say, if you spinny in any one of these is really good. Fox in any one of these is good. <laughs> Gazelle in any one of these is good. So I was trying to make it uh, like turbo version. So I like it. I didn't play three and none of one another because I wanted to make sure that I can they don't conflict. So it was nice to have two two. Um, Hand traps. I mean, this is going to be a hand trap of the format if we keep uh, playing with links. Uh, it's, it's like a mini maxi. Uh, it's really, really good because then on your turn, you wind up uh, kind of, you can't be targeted by effect failure, widow anchor, or impermanence. So, yeah, really good card um, to protect all your other starters. Uh, Ash, so I think it's pretty standard. It's kind of nice too. Like, Sunlight Wolf can actually add it back to your hand when you like special summon a Jaguar or something like that. So, it's kind of nice uh, being able to do that. Uh, Ogres, uh, really good card. I expected to play against Guard Dragon um, and combo decks like that, where you kind of just win by hitting a like LP or something like that. Um, really good against uh, Sky Striker. Uh, also, I didn't play against any Ultra guys, but would have been good. And in a mirror match, you want to hit Gazelle if you feel like they have no extenders, or you want to hit the the freaking what's the debug so it's good Valor uh, good as well uh, I just didn't see it as much uh, I didn't like it as much uh, for some reason it put in work against Sky Striker like game ones uh, they didn't have the Eagle Booster so uh, it worked out uh, I just didn't like them as much but it was fine uh, that was for monsters uh, then there's traps I think you have to play two uh, this is the best trap for me. Like I really like it. You can play around this a little easier than you can with that one. So if you have a good read of the game and the format, that card is busted. Fusion Fire, amazing in mirror match. Um, it can help you OTK. So Solomon, great card. Uh, Reborn, or basically I call it Rekindling. If you have a link uh, two or higher. Uh, it's not great, so that's a really good card. Good top deck. You gotta play the field spell. Uh, makes your monsters kind of like zoo. So, it's searchable. Three is basically your rota for, and it can also protect you from monster effects. So, it's kind of nice. It's quick play. You can activate it during your opponent's turn. Or a lot of times if you, like say Lady Debug, and then they draw you, you can chain this on top of draw. You get a card, and then you're Locked under draw, so cool. You don't search that much, so you're good. Monster Reborn, great in mirror match, great against anything. I think I won a game because I uh, I Reborn Ray and then I OTK'd, so it's 
pretty good. Uh, I don't know. If, I don't know if people play it or not, but I like Monster Reborn. Uh, Emergency Teleport. I do have a lot of targets, so I think I have seven. Uh, it's nice to have. Basically, I mean, it's just another extender, free summon, and um, yeah, in the third place match. Unfortunately, I got Ash both times, so uh, it happens. One card versus three. Uh, Foolish Burger is probably the best card in, uh, in the deck. And I probably should have played two. Originally I had three and somehow I cut it to one. It was the 41st card. Uh, but this card is just... It helps you set up a lot. When, uh, if you have Gazelle uh, that you don't have to send Spinny, you can send a card like this. And then you can send a card like this uh, with Foolish Burial Goods. So when you're doing your tricks with Wolf, when you summon uh, with the Field Spell, you can just set this from the graveyard like this. And then the Wolf Effect... You can add this to your hand so then in this case you actually have a negate and a potential to uh destruction so yeah this was this should have been at least at two uh, that was the really best best card so uh that's the main deck and for the extra deck uh stalio busted um it's really good uh, makes it so it's like a break my board in the beginning um, the compost effect is really good um, yeah gets you mainly mainly Jaguar is, is what I was using it for and Jaguar keeps making you plays but it can be used for anything it's uh, it's an amazing card uh, Bailings is kind of your go-to like starting play with any uh, usually level three but any including uh, Lady Debug so it gets you your field spell, and it also protects you from destruction. So, once per turn. But yeah, really good card. Um, this is basically the whole deck. Uh, it lets you get fire monsters back, and I guess it lets you get uh, your what I call the rage, rage Icarus attack, and then uh, your barrier in. I forgot the name of the card. Roar. Yeah, roar. So um, yeah, it helps you just recur him. So. I mean, usually Yuki is a game of the whoever has the most advantage wins. So <laughs> this can generate a really good advantage. And like I said, it's borderline too because you can continuously like activate this. Like, there are once per turn, but if it survives next turn, your main phase, you can just activate the effect to add a card back. So um, sport trap and yeah, it's really good. Basically, the whole deck. Uh, I chose not to play Leo. Because I wanted to be a little more aggressive as far as like trying to OTK and, and do things like that. So I didn't play Leo, but I did play uh, the the Fusion, obviously. Uh, really good in the mirror match. And uh, it helps set up plays like with Underclock Taker, which this by itself is an OTK. Uh, where you summon this one here. After like if you wanted to give up a wolf and something from your hand to summon that. Or you can take your opponent's guys. And then you target their monster. Uh, this is probably going to be at 4,000 attack. And you minus them, so they're most likely at zero. You attack them, and it inflicts double damage if their attack is altered. So it's over 8,000. So this alone is the OTK. It's pretty good. Um, uh, then, then just generic cards like Phoenix. Amazing with this guy. You know, you add a card through hits effect. And uh, you can discard with this effect. You draw a card. And then they can't be disturbed by battle because they're co-linked. So this is a nice little pair. Uh, perfect. I think the one is fine. Uh, like I said, I like to control the game with like big monsters. So these were really good follow-ups. I didn't play against any Thunder Dragon, but this does work against Thunder Dragon. Uh, it did work against the, one of my mirror matches in top 16 because I saw that he didn't play it. In ARG, like, you get to see your opponent's deck list. So I saw he didn't play it, so I, I made it in order to take control, and he couldn't get rid of it. So uh, the, by the time he got rid of it, it was a little late. So, yeah. And then Bow Sword, you can always uh, follow it up with this, like after your turn one, and you destroy everything. And and then yeah, you can just basically win the game because uh, Bow Sword is Bow Sword. I mean, he hits for 6,000. What? Yeah, seven was uh... uh these are the cards I played. Uh, Black Rose Moonlight. It was mainly for Thunder Dragon, but you can also bounce your opponent in a mirror match. Uh, you make it mainly with when you end Jaguar. And if you had Tracker before, or sorry, not Tracker, a wheel, 
you you have the two level threes, then you summon Wheel, and then you do make all your plays, and then you end on Jaguar. Jaguar and Wheel can make you this, or it can make you Dragster to add another negate. So it just depends on if you wanted to play offense or defense with these. Uh, obviously, this is mainly defense. This is mainly offense. So it was pretty nice. That's for the extra deck. Side deck. One anti-spell. One pre-order. You can't play two of these. So I decided to play 1-1. One, one, uh, in case I play Pendulum. Sky Striker going first. Um, yeah, this, this card wins games sometimes. Uh, top 8, I won it game 3. Uh, but it also loses games like... Uh, uh, the third place match, I, I burned myself to death just because I, I kind of break, which is kind of weird with this deck. But yeah, that's pretty good. You have to, you have to play these cards. Um, they play there can only be one. You play in prey order. Happens. Uh, there's Reverie Warlords. Uh, same purpose. All your guys are Cybers mainly. So um, yeah, auto win cards are good in this game. Uh, triple Twin Twisters, uh, just to be aggressive. Uh, destroy Floodgates. And just usual. Permanence is alright, depending for a second, depending on the deck I played against. Uh, this is probably the best card in the side deck. If you can main it, it'd be amazing, but you kind of have to side because you don't know if you're going to go first or second. But it's the best card, probably going to be moving forward in the format. It was probably going to be only bad against Thunder Dragon, but I didn't play against any, which kind of sucks because my deck was kind of more for that, but it's all good. Uh, Bigger Tops is really good. And then I decided to play these guys over. Um, raw because this is good against uh, it's basically like their own little Denko against Sky Striker and uh, any other Floodgate monster that you wanted to get rid of and it's good in a mirror match too so they can like I said you make their the trap uh, unplayable because they usually only end up on one link so the only reason I play the 2-1 is just you never know if you draw them you want to be able to special summon your own so uh, so yeah that was that and that was the deck. So as far as the prizes and everything, uh, $250, uh, got a pin, and a two-player clock mat. So that was kind of cool. So, you know, shouts out to the winner. Uh, he whooped my ass in top four. Um, so congrats to him. And uh, yeah, hopefully we keep doing well in events. Uh, shout outs to Imperium. And shout outs to Ape. Um, yeah, ARGs are fun. It's uh, basically 120 players. Uh, it's it's a, it's a 120 player local uh, with very competitive players. So it was fun. It was it was nice to top it. Uh, it's been a while, and hopefully we get a few more events. The UDS in two weeks. I think that that can be better. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys try if you like it, and if not, then. All right, so I'll see you guys then. later, and bye. All right, well, this is Team Nightmare, and we're having...